What up? It's your boy Sam and Seth, and this is Snack and Sports, where we eat snacks, talk sports, your typical guy stuff. I mean, who doesn't love food and sports? Come on. I mean, you especially can, us. Come on, look at us. People love food. People love sports. You put it together. That's us right here. It's we the like ultimate to eat. Podcast. We like to watch sports. We like to eat. We like to talk we sports. We like to eat. We like to talk sports. And that's why this is called Snack and Sports. Now, um, if you guys are just listening to this, you guys don't know how big we are. We have a medium guy. I call him medium. He thinks he's large. He's medium. You're a medium size. I'm guy. large to you know today's standards. You're tall. But th- that's six, another for six, another day. Four, about and your boy over here, boy over here, what double XL, triple XL, you know, over here on this side of the microphone. Let's just get right into it. We then. can we, we we eat. We we like to eat. We eat. So um, we we're gonna w- what the purpose of this podcast is, or like the basis behind it is, we're gonna try a weird food or something we never tried before snack. At the beginning. Anything. Drink, food, whatever. And then we get into the sports. So, um, today we both brought something. One food, one drink. You got the food, I got the drink. Uh, but usually, well, one person brings in something. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's jump into the first ever Snack and Sports podcast episode. Let's go! I think we should start off with the food. Go ahead. Yeah, we, yeah. Because we, <laughs> we use the drink to wash down the food. We probably need it for this one. Yeah, I'm looking the, at it right now. Yeah, the first thing I brought in spam. Never had spam. Heard about spam. You got the spam and eggs. I said, let's just crack it open. You he he it pulled open? it out, and I was like, bruh. Do you cook it or can you eat it raw? Like, I, I don't. I have no idea. What do you I, mean you do? Hey, I have no idea. I, I, I don't know how to cook spam. I never cooked spam before. So, can we eat it raw, is what I'm saying? Are we going to get salmonella from this shit? I don't, it's spam, like it's just canned meat, it's ingredients, pork with ham, salt, water, modified potato starch. Can you eat raw pork? Ready to eat cold or hot, there we go, there we go, ready to eat cold or hot. I think this thing can survive a nuclear blast, honestly. I'm pretty sure they used to give that to like army men to eat. You got the pop it open, get the the sound of it popping open, is it going to spew everywhere? No, well, we're that, good. That we're good. It's not like it's, it's anticlimactic here. It looks okay, disgusting. That looks like my left calf. <laughs> that looks disgusting. Hold on. It's not coming out. Let's just fork it out of there, right? You're just going to fork it? All right. That's, Let's I just fork it. it. Is it... Oh. <laughs> Is it that gross? It kind of looks like... like Cat food, I'm not gonna lie. You sure this is not cat food? I don't. It it looks like. I don't think I were supposed to eat this. I don't, I don't think this is meant for humans, honestly, bro. It, it's sold in the down home parts of Lebanon, Tennessee, and I. It, it looks gross. It's sold everywhere, but like, I'm just gonna you want take a fork. A, I got it in my hand. I'm just gonna Have take a, a. I'm just gonna take a small bite because this does not look so good. spam. If you guys ever tried spam, let us know how you like it. Again, this is on YouTube, probably on, at my on my YouTube, or we're gonna create a different YouTube we'll for create, it. We'll, we'll create a different YouTube. It's gonna be snack and sports, so just find it on YouTube anywhere. Are you, already, you ready? <sighs> it looks gross. It could oh, be shit. good. You have a big bite. I have a big bite. Should I eat it all? I'm taking a single small bite. I'm not eating this whole thing. This is. Gross. I'm eating the whole thing. Fuck it. See, that's why you're big. No, th- no. This is why I'm big. But like, look, bruh. This is the meaning of our podcast. If we don't eat the whole thing, we're pussies. All right, let's go. Cheers. <laughs> that did not taste bad. It tastes like a Vienna sausage. It, it, I, I personally would not eat this on a daily basis, but it's really not What bad. is that? What is that? It tastes it's like... It's like vinegar. Is it... What is that? Vinegar? What is that? It tastes like a Vienna sausage. Well, yeah, but like, it's too... Shit. (laughs) Party foul number one. 
Probably a lot more to come. Um, it has like this really weird. I used to eat Vienna sausages when I go out fishing. You get the little cans. It's so salty. It's not bad. I'm not. I'm not saying I'd eat that on a regular basis, but oh, it's not dude. bad. You want? Is it good enough for a second bite, Sam? I I I promise you, I would not take a second bite of that. <laughs> but it's not. I see why people eat this. Like it's. It feels like your last resort food. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like that. Well, that's gonna last forever, either outside the refrigerator or not. Yeah, it was literally in like a non-cooled environment. In I'm not eating general. more of that. I'm gonna get sick probably. That's fine. We'll put that away. Um, I'm probably gonna throw it in the trash. After okay, this. scale of one to ten. Let's do this. First, right. first snack. We have nothing to base this off of. I but would say this is like a three point two. I've had. Better <laughs> you were snacks. just you, you you were just saying how good it was though. I'm saying it's it's not great. It's not the best, but. If I had to eat this, zombie apocalypse, if I had to eat this, I would. I think the look of it alone, it just, it bums it way down. The name Spam really just, like, makes It's maps think, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it makes you think, no, I'm not going to eat that. You have a Spam folder in your email. Bad email. And it's sitting in my mouth right now. It still, it still tastes like the greasiness uh, of it. Like and put just... a film on the top of my mouth. It looks like flesh to me. Like, it looked like... I don't know what kind of flesh you're looking looking at right now. Bro, look at but it. But like that, it kind of lo- it has kind of has that beige coloring to it, you know? It's pink. Oh, maybe I'm just colorblind, bro. You don't see, it's pink. It looks like someone just bit a chunk out of my leg, bro. I'm telling you. That just it bumps it way down for me. I'm gonna give it a. I did not enjoy it. That's fine. But I didn't. I didn't was like, oh, this is a one or a two. This is definitely a three, ish. So the, I'm gonna. I'll do rookie a, scores. I I agree with a three point two. How about 3. that? Three point two. We're starting off. Our podcast with the agreement. A this three is, point two. Three point two is fine, yeah. This is not gonna come that often. Us agreeing, this is not gonna happen often, I promise you that. Um Spam, a three point two. Don't get it unless you're dying. Let's wash okay. it down. Let's wash with it a cold down. Cold drink. What the is this? The second set? snack. This is Moxie. Moxie. You ever heard of the company Moxie before? No, but I know what they say when like you you're good at sports or something like that. This kid got Moxie. Oh yeah, yeah. He's got swag. This is called Moxie Original li- Elixir. Original Elixir. What is Elixir? Do you know what Elixir is? It sounds like a potion. Yeah. So, and that's all it says. It says distinctively different on it. So that's why I got. It. I was like, oh, it's different. Oh, this is this is a good this is a good thing to get. Where'd you get this? I got this at Cracker Barrel. It stood out because all the other ones were dark, and this was orange, so it was popping out. You're telling me out of all the drinks at Cracker Barrel, you grabbed Moxie. Well, it was either that. There was a lime one I almost got. That not I never a, not had. an RC cola. I didn't see not, RC. Not a Stewart's uh, orange cream. There was a lot, but but you've tried those before. It wouldn't be. I realize that's also not a twist off. This isn't. Is you it? Sure? Is, is it a twist off? Oh, you it fucked. <laughs> it is a twist off. He was wrong. All right. It looks like just. It's probably gonna taste like regular Coke. It does not look like it has any. It's kind of got it. a red thing to it. It does. It's have fizzing fizz. a lot. I I lied to you there. Let's get a let's get a good whiff. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it does not smell great. It smells like a flat soda. Well, it's not. You just heard the fizz. I understand that, but it smells. It smells like a like my grandparents' home. It, yeah, it smells like a soda like that sat in your fridge. Elixir does not taste the smell good. It, it just does. Doesn't, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good at all. All right, let's. Should we t- cheers it? Cheers it. All okay, right. here we go. Not the best. Mm-mm. I've had. I don't worse. like that. I've had worse, but it's it's the aftertaste. It's not good. It's like it tastes like it tastes like metal. A flat, it tastes like a flat soda. It's not flat, but it tastes like a flat. Coke. That's that's like really bad. Like think of a sprite, and how good that tastes. A McDonald's. The sprite. aftertaste is bad. It might be the spam though. It, I might be, it might be the spam. No, I've got a bad aftertaste going. It is that is bad. Why? What the aftertaste is so bad? Oh, stu- that's worse than the spam. That's worse than the spam. Stewart's orange cream just puts this out of the water. It's like got a metal aftertaste. Do you taste that? It, it is. It is awful. On a drink scale, I rather, dude. No. On mm-hmm. a drink scale, I would put this at a two point. At first, I'm like, okay. I can deal, but then it gets worse and worse and just lingers around and like 
makes me it feel sits. horrible about myself. You, you feel it going. It just sits in your mouth. It's it's gross. Okay, well, do not ever buy Moxie original elixir. That that might that actually might be poison. You know, that actually tastes like poison. I don't know how you know what poison tastes like. Like, just imagine what poison tastes like. Just imagine the bitterness of it. There's a bitter aftertaste to this. That's I imagine like, poison. It is could like be poison. Purple, like a grape medicine type flavor. Are you done? You're not drinking yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm not drinking any more of that. Okay. That is gross. Never get that. Unless you like to drink so dis- glad. disgusting stuff. Bad. Uh, scale 1 to 10. Yeah, I gave it a 2.7. Yeah, it's a 1, bro. It's a one. Like, I can't, I'm not drinking it. I'm not, I don't even want to take a second thing. I, I thought about taking a second bite of Spam, but that one, no. I'm not taking a second drink of that. that that's horrible. I'm glad that I wonder if it's that. old or something. I don't know. I'm glad he... I will take this cap, though. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you need those caps. I do. This is bad. It's bad. Like, it's just it's a not... One. It's a 1.5 for me. It's not great at all. I think if you cook that, the Spam, cook it, and, like, put, like, mustard and cheese on it. Like, like... Some eggs, like, even. Some eggs. The eggs, the, the Spam and eggs spam sounds and good. Eggs. It would be okay. You can do nothing to that Moxie soda to make it good. Right. So yeah, you put it with ice cream. It, it makes me kind of want to put the spam a little higher than three point two. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna keep the spam at a three point two. The mox had a two point seven, just because zombie apocalypse. If you have to drink the moxie, or I'm die, not drinking it. I'm I would drink the moxie. I would drink my own piss before I drink that. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That's the snack part of this podcast. The snack and sports podcast. That was the snack part. We'll do some. We'll we'll start some introductions. Introductions. Well, yeah, we said our names. Seth, names. Sam Sturgeon and Seth Warren. But that's all we said. Yeah. You don't know us. We don't know you. Hello. We, let's get to know each other, huh? I'm originally from Texas, so all of my Boo. sports... Hey, all of my sports teams are from Texas, except for one. And that one... Is your hat. Is Oklahoma State University. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That is my favorite college team. That's my football, hat, by the way. basketball, any sport. Tell me why even I wrestling. Tell me why I have the Oklahoma State hat and you don't. Yes, because you took a trip to the Grand Canyon yes, through did. Oklahoma. Which I, I stole that hat, by the way. But yes, he he is, is a criminal throat, right now. Is your throat kind of like burning a little bit? It just it doesn't feel right. That <sighs> moxie probably ruined my day. <laughs> Anywho. Y'all can you can hate all you want. I am one of the biggest Dallas Cowboys fans there is. I know y'all are like, oh my gosh, eight and eight. Oh my gosh, y'all really think you're going to the Super Bowl every year? We don't. Do you come on? Not that I. You hope not. While Jerry Jones is the GM and owner, he gets rid of his GM status. We might be good, but him being the owner and GM, not. Is there another about. football owner like that? No. That's owner and GM? Exactly. No. So why does he feel the need to do that? Because he is a rich man and he can he owns the team and he feels like he can do whatever he wants. I mean, he's one of the richest people in the world. Like, think about it. I mean, he doesn't touch Bezos. He doesn't touch Well, Musk. obviously, but no one touches Bezos. It's Bezos, but whatever. Bezos, Bezos, whatever. <laughs> but potato, this, potato. This, this man literally last year doing the draft on his yacht drafted C.D. Lamb. <laughs> From his yacht in the middle of the ocean. That's the biggest flex ever. Yes. And now the Rams, the LA Rams, bought a Malibu house for their draft room, trying to be like Jerry Jones. He's a, he's a, he's a trendsetter. Exactly. At 80, how old is he? Old. He's old. As I, I hope he dies tomorrow. <laughs> no, chill. You don't want to say that on air. Um, we'll cut that out. <laughs> maybe we won't. It's kind of funny. Um, I hope he hears this. <laughs> But just, he can stay the owner, just no GM. He can walk away and sell the team, too. I would appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So you're you're everything Texas. Everything Texas. So the Rangers. Rangers, Cowboys, Mavericks, Stars. Don't like the Texas Longhorns. Oklahoma State College. Um, FC Dallas soccer fam. I really got to Nashville SC, though. So, like, Tottenham Hotspur 2, Jordan in the Super League. Let's go. Seth doesn't like soccer or baseball. So. Soccer's all right. I'll, I'll watch soccer. So, I'll watch uh, soccer. 
Um, but you're not a baseball guy. No, I'm not a baseball guy. Um, huge baseball guy over here. Huge? Huge. Then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about baseball. Huge, huge baseball guy. Huge. Uh, it's huge. Huge. Um, uh, but no, I just never, my dad's a huge baseball guy. I watched, like I went, I've been to a Colorado Rockies game and Atlanta Braves game. I just, I've just never gotten into it. It's so like slow paced and I can't handle it. You go to the game, you get you a nice hot dog, pretzel. So you got a bag of peanuts even. Right. You but can I can do that at the, a football game. You can't, you can just put the peanuts on the ground. <laughs> Enjoy this at a football game. You're in a dome. Or unless you go to the Titan stadium. What, you think every stadium is like the Dallas Cowboys I'm stadium? S- only the cool people have domes. I've been I've been to two football games. It's the Denver Broncos and the Tennessee Titans, and both of them have open stadiums. Yeah, it's because they're trash. Both of them, yeah, but so are the Dallas Cowboys. So it's fine. We have five. <laughs> neither of us are paid, uh, neither of us are Bucks fans or you know Chiefs fans. So it's it's rough out here in these. We can't streets. we can't all be bandwagons, right? Um, me, I am. He a, only likes. This the is weird. Yeah, this is weird. This is this. I'm very weird. You're you're simple. You're like you like you like Texas sports. I like teams. You like players. Well, I like teams on some sports. Like okay, I'll explain. So college, anything Tennessee, Tennessee Vols. Disgusting. Well, I didn't say anything about Oklahoma State. What the fuck's going on with you? I didn't say I, anything I just, about Oklahoma State. I, I hate Tennessee Vols fans. That always, but I'm a Tennessee no, listen, Vols fan. They always think this is our year. Party like 1998 or was it 99, 98, whatever. Same difference. You haven't won anything since. It's 98. I'm pretty sure. Whatever. Y'all couldn't even win anything with Peyton Manning. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa. Y'all won with T. Martin. Okay. Maybe we just... Okay, college has never been about the best quarterback. The best quarterback is not going to win. College football has never been like that. Trevor so, Lawrence was the best quarterback when he won. Yeah, but did he, did he win two? Did he win multiple? Or did he just fall off? I'm sorry. He we, had a good team that year. Well, we can get into it, but like... It's always been, you know, who has the best talent... Best coaching, usually Alabama. Um, sometimes Clemson will be thrown in there. You have three, you have three teams really: Alabama, Clemson, top Ohio two. State. Ohio State, yeah. I put them in the top three, honestly. You know I mean? Like best of Big Ten. Ohio, mainly SEC. LSU might or LSU or Georgia might get in there. Unlucky years. Anyway, anyway, I'm a Tennessee guy. Tennessee balls guy. We're in the SEC. We suck. It's all right. I'm not one of those guys that think, oh, this is our year. We might have like an above five hundred record this year. So that's a big Tennessee women's basketball fan. <sighs> yeah, we're like the most historic women's basketball other than UConn. R.I.P. Pat Summit. Rest in peace. Didn't she have like dementia or something uh, like that? Uh, probably. Yeah. Anyway, um, shout out Pat Summit. Um, but yeah, Tennessee. Anything college Tennessee. Now s- professional sports. It's weird. Okay, I grew up in Colorado, so I'm a Denver Bronco fan, but I'm not a Nugget fan. I'm not a Rockies fan. I'm not an Avalanche fan. Just the Broncos, okay? It's because I went to a game, first NFL game I ever went to. Anyway, for that's for football. Uh, for basketball, I follow LeBron James, okay, wherever he goes. Because he's a LeBron stan. What does that mean? Super fan. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um,. He's wearing a jersey right now. I'm wearing a jersey. There's a jersey up on my wall. LeBron's my guy. One of the better athletes ever. My favorite athlete ever. Anyway, LeBron's my guy in basketball, professional basketball. Um, uh, for baseball, I guess I'm just going to go Atlanta Braves, but I'm not really a big baseball guy. It's the only game I ever went to other than the Rockies, but I was, like, really young then. Um, And for hockey, I guess... Predators when they're good, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hockey's Nationals. A fun sport to watch. It is fun. It's fun to go. I love to going go, to NHL games. People say it's boring to watch on TV, but to go to a game, it's not even boring to watch on TV. I'd rather watch it than baseball. You know, I'd rather watch it than soccer. Listen. People fighting, people fighting and fucking hitting each other really hard. This, I mean, that's like football real, on this ice. This is a real knock on baseball, but a nice Sunday afternoon baseball game, it really puts you in a napping mood. That's a knock on baseball. <laughs> it's a vibe. It, 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 instead of like a blessed party, it's a vibe. I've taken my best naps on Sundays <laughs> with a baseball game in the background. The Atlanta Braves in their nice Sunday uniforms, the powder blue sometimes for the Cardinals. It's the best. But yeah, that's that's me. Uh, Atlanta Braves, Predators, uh, just kind of like regional around here, some like uh, around Nashville. It's where we're located. 
um, unless Broncos or LeBron. So, yeah. Kind of simple, kind of not. And also to introduce ourselves, we have five sports-related questions just to kind of kind of break the ice right. a little bit. Um, I have more than five, but we don't have to. We can just do like rapid fire can, at the end. Yeah, that's fine. All right, you want to go first or me? I'll, I'll take. I'll take the. I'll go first. Okay, go first. No, you want to go first. You want to go first? You can go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. That's Wait, fine. what? You, I'll go first. You, you go first. First question: Greatest football player of all time. This is your opinion. This isn't just factual. Your opinion. I mean, football player, right? Player. What this is really hard because not football greatest quarterback, not greatest running because back. Because football, overall. there's so many different positions. Like I, th- I saw a post where it was a picture of Blankenship, the kicker for the Colts, and a Rodrigo. and a picture of uh, D- DK Metcalf, mm-hmm. and it was like these two people play the same sport, and I'm just like, that's crazy, you know? Because like Blankenship looks like me. Um, or like a skinny version of me with glasses. He looks like a nerd, all right? And then DK Metcalf looks like a Greek god. You know what I'm saying? So it's like these two people play the same sport. It's crazy. So it's hard to compare football players because there's so many. Like there's linemen. There's fat people like me, you know, on the line. But they're strong as fuck, you know? Um, there's Some very fast. Larry Allen, one of the fastest linemen. D lineman, right? He was an offensive lineman. Larry Allen played for the Cowboys. Who am I thinking of? The Vikings guy. Vikings defensive lineman. Last name Allen. Jared. There it is. The white guy. Yeah, okay. I thought you were talking about him. No. Okay, never mind then. His name wasn't Larry. No, his name was Jared Allen. Okay, my bad. There you go. You sure his name wasn't Larry? I'm, his name was Larry. I'm positive. Anyway, they're fast. Whatever. You look up Larry Allen. It is a big black guy, number seventy three. Played for the Cowboys. All right. Okay. You sure he's not white? I'm sure he's not. Larry's white. a white name. Larry is a white name. Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> um. Then there's running backs who are either really fucking... They're all fast, but, like, you know, and then there's wide receivers who can catch... Like, it's just different. It's different. But the person that played, like, both sides of the ball... Deion... Deion Sanders. Sanders. He played both sides Deion of the ball Sanders well. Deion Sanders is probably... Is, I would say he's the GOAT of football. It's it, it, See, it's hard for me. Is he? Is it that easy? You know. I think it's. I think you look at a football player because back in the day, a lot of not a lot of football players played both sides of the ball, as well as played another sport. You're Dion, kind of biased, though. Let's be honest. Well, Dion played for the Falcons. He played. He for played the for the Cowboys, though. Yeah, but he also played for the Braves. Maybe I think Peyton Manning's the best football player of all time. The, the biggest forehead of all time. <laughs> yes. Hey, man. When he takes off that helmet, I'm like, dude, that dude. He got the extendo head. He had to. Because he had, like, red marks on his forehead the whole time. But, yeah, yeah I guess we're both in agreement that Deion Sanders, because I can't really think of anybody else. You could also put him in the conversation of greatest athlete of all time. Well, do you, is that another one of your questions? Or? No, that is not. That is one of mine. Let's, no. let's ask it. That's Should one of my questions. Best athlete right of all time. One? Not Serena Williams. I mean, she's up there. I understand she's up there, but she's not the greatest athlete of all time. I, I would agree. Um... I, I would say the greatest athlete of all time, like, would have to be someone that played multiple, right? Like Dion. That can, yeah. Like Bo. Michael Jordan. Mike, yeah, well, my thing is, my, <laughs> Bo and Dion played their all-star secondary levels. sport to all-star levels. Yeah. Michael Jordan stayed in the minor leagues. Bo Jackson also had a short-lived, short-lived career, career, right? Yeah. After that injury. So it's hard. Deion Sanders seems like he stuck around a long time. He did? Yeah. And he did it to a high level throughout his career. He's also a great commentator. I love listening to him. He's now a coach at Jackson State University, Yeah, didn't they have a good record the first year you coached or something like that? This is his first year. Spring ball. Oh. I thought he did last year. Spring ball. No, he just started this year. Okay. He got hired like... A year ago. He got hurt, but they didn't have, because of COVID. COVID. Okay. They didn't play in sense. the fall. So FCS is doing spring ball this year. For an HBCU, a historical mm-hmm. black college, college university. We'll just go with that. Mm-hmm. Probably going to lead Jackson State to a national championship, either this year or in the following year. A national championship? In FCS, yes. Oh. An FCS championship. Gotcha. <sighs> Should we go to my question, or do you think you think Dion is 
w- the greatest football player as well as the greatest athlete of all time. Here's my thing. I'm going to pitch in my guy. I'm going to pitch in LeBron there, okay? Because dude's athletic on the court, but he also played football in high school, right? Like he was like but does he play, a star he in football. Play professional football. But he could, though. That's the thing. We all know he could. We, we then line him up he? because he, he's trying to he's, he's trying to catch Space Jordan. Too. He's trying to catch Jordan, right? Which you won't. He, he already has, but we're not gonna talk about it. We can't just mention it. You want to talk about we, it? You want to go right into this? <sighs> we will talk about this forever. Let's just let's have a whole podcast we talk episode about, the, about we, it. We talk about the Michael Jordan, LeBron James debate every single day. I see this man. Yeah, and it's okay. Tell that's what I'll be remembered for is being a funny LeBron James lover, you know. I'll be, uh, you know, not lover, but you know, supporter. But I'll pitch in my guy, LeBron. LeBron's up there. That's fine. You can put LeBron Michael Jordan's up there. up there. I, I didn't say Michael I, Jordan wasn't up there. You know, I personally would not put Michael Jordan. I wouldn't as either. One of, one of the but greatest athletes. He's athletic though as fuck. Yeah, you see, you see him in Space Jam. You see that long dunk. Should have been a three, not a two. It's in a movie, bro. It's in a movie. I understand, but they scored it wrong. It should have been. A, he was behind the three point line, just extended his arm really long. Should have been a three. All right. Next question from you, my best friend. Gatorade flavor. I like best the Glacier Gatorade. Freeze, bro. The Glacier Freeze. The gray. It's Listen, fire. Hot take here. Could be the hot take of the day. Uh oh. Cucumber lime. That's disgusting. Cucumber lime. That is disgusting. Cucumber no, lime. It's the Gatorade. most bitter thing I've ever tasted it in my is, entire life. It is amazing. Oh, you're joking, right? I'm dead serious you're right joking. now. You're joking. I'm dead serious. I had it the other day when I was uh, working out. That hint of lime you get at the aftertaste of cucumber might be one of my favorite Gatorade flavors. I'd rather of all drink time. a sip of Moxie. I would not. I, I would rather would, drink no, a sip of Moxie again. Moxie is disgusting. But cucumber lime Gatorade might be one of my favorite Gatorade flavors of all time. What happens if Moxie hits us up for a sponsorship, bro? Then I will. I will drink Moxie. <laughs> I'll drink Moxie till the day I die. I will have bottles of Moxie on this table. <laughs> Not, bro, the lime flavor cucumber lime. Cucumber lime. I think the only time I ever tried it was it was a bad experience for me. Like it was bad. It's so good. It's, all right. It, it's refreshing. Even. It's like drinking cucumber water with like a little splash of lime in there. Really good. Really good. Better than Glacier Freeze. I would put... I wouldn't say cucumber lime is obviously my favorite flavor. Why bring it up then? Because it is my... If you're talking about underrated Gatorades, then yes. Underrated Gatorades, yes. Because everyone hates on cucumber lime Gatorade. But my favorite flavor of all time has to be... I believe it's called Glacier Cherry. That's the one I'm talking about. It's the gray one, right? Grape? No. It's the gray one. It looks like a bottle of cum, yes. 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 That's we're talking about the same it's one. It's glacier cherry, not glacier. It's the freeze. best one. Yes, it's, it's the fire. best one. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're on we're in agreement. It's <laughs> not called glacier, glacier freeze. No, it's glacier cherry. Glacier cherry. We have it we have it at work. We have it at work, yeah. yeah. It's fire. Next one for me? Yeah, go ahead. This one I kinda thought was interesting. Um where is the next iconic athlete? Like the LeBron James of our generation, the Michael You're Jordan. Which sport or who is it? Uh, well, it could be any sport. Who is it? Where is he in high school? Is she in? Is she in high school? Is is he in the NBA right now? Is he in the NFL right now? Who who do you think is the next one to come up? I might be biased here because he plays for Jesus my Christ. team. <laughs> and I mean, it's close. But Luka Doncic yeah. is about to be the face of basketball, just like Ronald Acuna is going to be the face of baseball, taking over Mike Trout's reign. Do you think Luca's going to take over LeBron James's reign? I think I think Luca would take over LeBron James's reign. I don't know if he has the athleticism for it. Like he can dunk and whatever, but the greatest you basketball players your, of all time. We could, look at it. You could put your argument of Luca will take over the reign of what Seth Curry was during the Warriors and Steph Curry. That's, I said Steph Curry. Sound like you said Seth. Seth Steph. He would take over the I'm Ste- Steph, Curry. Steph Curry role, role, where someone else would take over the LeBron James role, where the Warriors and whoever LeBron was playing for met in the championships. What four times in a row? Mm-hmm. Three times in a row? Do you think uh, this is a weird, just off topic question? Do you think Zion and Luca might ever like play in like an NBA Finals game together? 
Like against each other. Against each other? No, because they're on the same team right now. But there no, is... They're not on the same team. Same, same conference. conference. Yeah. There has been talks of Zion going to play for the Knicks when his contract is up. He could. Very well. He could. But I see... Him and Julius Randle would be kind of crazy. I see a rivalry between Zion and Ja more than I see a rivalry of Zion and Luka. Luka's got to have... Luka's feisty, bro. Luka's... Luka's... Luka's got some feisty in him. Like... He's going to have a rival with somebody. Trey Young, just because they were traded for each other. I disagree. But Trae Luka's Young's way not, better than Trey Young. Yeah, Trey Young's not. Th- that's not a rivalry. Steph and, Steph and LeBron was a rivalry. We loved it. We loved to see it. KD and LeBron's a rivalry now. Le- Kyrie LeBron's a rivalry now. Russell Westbrook and any uh, one anyone, of his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> a rivalry now. Him and Bradley Beal's going to get into it in the next month, whatever. Um, but Luka's going to have a rivalry. He, I don't know who it is. I, I want to see it to It could Zion. very possibly be Julius Randle, the way Julius is playing right now. How young is Julius Randle? He's like 28. I believe Julius, yeah, 28, 27. But like Julius and like Luka, you know, could meet up in the finals if, you know, the Knicks get a better team and the Mavericks get a better team. Um, So you're saying Luka's the next one, the next one up, the, the next, next iconic yes, athlete. Yes, the next icon. Interesting. My note is really running right now. Well, he's already kind of iconic, but I think Patty Mahomes. Patty Mahomes is going to be probably the Patty greatest, Mahomes qu- greatest is, quarterback ever. Patty Mahomes was is already big. Yeah. Well, Luke is already big. Just, he's in the like, MVP discussion already. Yeah. Patty Mahomes, he's already won MVP, but I'm talking about next iconic, right? He's the next Tom Brady, if you want to say it, but he's got wheels. You know, he's got feet. Uh, uh, Tom Brady never had. And um, if he just gets a con- like healthy, good, consistent offensive line, they're going to win a lot of Super Bowls. They really are. No and one I, can stop I, that I really offense. don't see any of the top like picked quarterbacks in the NFL draft being as big as Patty Mahomes or Tom Brady. Trevor Lawrence might might be might do it. You just got to look at the team around him. He's getting drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have what DJ Chark and. Uh, I mean, Joe Burrow to the Bengals last year. They had a massive improvement until he got hurt. Until. Until he, you know, realized their weakness is the offensive line. Yeah. Well, he had learned that the hard way. Yeah. Towards ACL. That was a bad injury. I mean, you look at Justin Herbert, too. Justin Herbert could be the face of the NFL here he soon. I mean, you look, no one believed in him. Everyone said he was a bust. No one believed in Tom Brady. Well, except yeah, for the Patriots. Tom Brady was, what, a seventh round pick? Sixth round pick? Yeah. He's a, yeah I think his last round, yeah. And, like, you, Drew Bledsoe gets hurt. Tom Brady steps in. The rest is history. No one saw him coming. So... Maybe the next iconic athlete is someone we don't see coming. Maybe like a, you know, Drew Like a Locke. Dak Prescott. <laughs> we said our quarterbacks. <laughs> That's funny. Um, maybe, it's a, maybe it is a Cade Cunningham from Oklahoma State. Maybe it's someone that we're not really expecting, like Jalen Suggs, to absolutely tear up the NBA. I don't know. Um, but your money's on Luka, my, my money's on... Well, see, that's an easy way out. Yeah. Patty Mahomes is an easy way out. It's like... I mean, to be honest, so is Luka. Patty Mahomes won a championship already, won an MVP. Yeah. Luka's won none of You're that. Right. So maybe I'll go... Pat Mahomes makes everyone around him better. But Luka right now in the NBA is like a I'm going to go Bronny team. James. Bronny James? He's got he's got the IQ. He's got the genius. It's genetic. Just because he his name is Bron, Bronny Jr. Bronny James is the next iconic athlete. You heard it here first, folks. Anyway, next question. Greatest sports moment you've ever witnessed? This is a great question because I haven't witnessed many. <laughs> okay, I, either I've been to a blowout game or it could be two horrible one, teams. It could be even one you watched on TV. Oh, that's easy. The the block on Iguodala? No. Oh, oh, okay. Why am I thinking of football only right now? Uh, <sighs> block on Iguodala is up there. The 2016 finals period was probably the best finals ever. Down 3-1, it's, coming back, you know, like, come on. It's like first, movie. First team to ever do that. Yeah. It's like a movie, bro. It's like probably the best finals ever, honestly, if you think about it. Um, That one's – see, I've watched a lot of things on TV, though. I would say my – I'll tell mine. It's football-related. I watched the helmet catch of David Tyree in the, with in I watched the Super Bowl. that. I mean, I, mean, I was young, but yeah. Yeah. I watched that. I remember I was at church. I don't know why we had a church Super Bowl party. They wouldn't let us watch the halftime show for some reason. But I watched that at church. I remember where I was sitting. 
drinking a Dr. Pepper, eating some Cool Ranch Doritos, watch that man catch that ball off his helmet. Were you speechless? Uh, yeah. I would say it, it's either that moment or the Patriots comeback against the Atlanta Falcons down 21-3. It's not really a moment, but it's like one of the greatest games I've ever watched. Yeah. Because they completely flipped the script. Yeah. Like, pretty much, like, overnight, you know, like, I've in the watched, middle of the game. I've been to baseball games where there have been no hitters, three home run games. This man is eating spam, uh, taking another bite of spam. Listen, man, boy, I didn't have breakfast. I wish you would have brought a, you know, a more tasty treat, but it's whatever. Anyways. You're saying? <laughs> yes. But that, the 21-3, to three, or, no, 28-3, to three, actually. 28-3. to three, Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. 28 to 3 comeback against the Falcons. Probably one of the greatest moments of Tom Brady's career, even not just sports career. Yeah. Um, the 2016 NBA Finals probably up there. Um, the one I sp- specifically witnessed live, um, it was, I think it was like in 2013 and 2014. Um, Tennessee versus Vandy. It was an overtime game. And, uh, Is this football? Yeah. Um, I believe we, Vandy gets the ball first in overtime, and we got a pick at the goal line and ran it all the way back for a touchdown, and I witnessed that live. That was pretty cool, um, and we won the game. Um, you should have beat Vandy by more, though. Well, yeah, Turned it's Vandy. It's a terrible football school. I mean, Great it, it was when we school. had Derek Dooley as a coach, bro. What do you want me to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want us to do? Where's Derek Dooley now, you know? He was a quarterback's coach for the Cowboys at one point. Who cares? Like, dude, dude. And then he went to Alabama. I, the same way you feel about Jerry Jones, I feel about Derek Dooley. Like, thank God he's out of there, you know? Go be go be coach for Cowboys. Bet you want Lane Kiffin back, though. Who wouldn't want Lane Kiffin back? That man is a monster. He's so not, good. Not a great year at uh, Ole Miss, but. Not a great year? Not not that great I mean, year. he had COVID, and he, he's playing just SEC schools. It's tough. Really tough. Since he didn't do too hot. What's new? Shut up. Um, so yeah, I'm. I'm. But the 2016 NBA Finals is probably hard to beat. So I'm gonna go 2016 NBA Finals. And that, as, as a whole, or just that game? Correction. I forgot about this one. 2014 Ray Allen shot from the corner. 100. percent That was a good one. It's not even LeBron. I mean, it is, it is LeBron related, but it's not LeBron doing it. It's Ray Allen. Like I thought, there was no hope for me. The first real super team, and then he hits team. a corner. So, first real super team. Are you stupid? Who is the first real super? The team? Showtime Lakers: Byron Scott, James Worthy, um, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's the super team. Get out of here. Get on my face. I think the Miami Heat was a better super team than that. Well, it's a better one, but you said it was the first super team. First real super team. No, it's not a first real super team. The Boston Celtics in two thousand eight. With Paul Pierce shit in his pants? They won a championship. One. Okay, we won two. Exactly. Super teams don't work, is that what you're saying? They win championships. Real super teams win championships. Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Rajon Rondo, people forget he was on that team. Big hands. And then Ray Allen. Like, that's a super team, without a doubt. So, shut up. That was that was your That question. was mine, yeah. Cool. Most crawl... Bef- Mo- okay, so most crawl so people can walk in sports. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Who like crawled the most so other people can? Who did who, the who, most things who, first, first so people can copy him? Are you talking athlete wise? Yeah. That's tough. It is tough. That's a tough question. Like I'll give you my sports. answer, and you're and you're gonna be surprised by this. Is Michael Jordan? Without a doubt. How so? Because NBA, up until the 90s, was either you had a point guard that could pass really well and ran the offense, right? A, Michael, a Magic Johnson or a John Stockton, right? Or, or it was, it was and, like had, and you had a post guy. One tool, guys. Yeah. Not, not multiple things, just either a big man who can bang down low in the post or a point guard who's really good at passing at the assists and... You had some that could score, like Jerry West could score, um, you know, Pete Maravich could score, those type of point guards. But it's usually the people that can score. You look at you look at the list. It's Karl Malone. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know what I'm saying? It's big post guys that 
can bang down low and give you work down low in the post. Michael Jordan comes in here and says, screw all that. I'm not a point guard. I'm not a center. I'm not a power forward, that big guy that can post down low. I'm a shooting guard who's got handles like a point guard, who can play defense, get steals and blocks and all that, and then also do these ridiculously flashy moves and still score and win championships doing it. Oh, yeah. So he and then and then Kobe comes along and look at the NBA now. Kobe it's was It's literally like, no post guys. Yeah, Kobe was a direct mirror of Jordan. Which he was the first to try to replicate it. Yeah. And he did a really fucking good job, but he's not there yet. He only won five championships, one MVP. Only. What? Only five championships. Right. A lot of people don't get one. MJ had six though. I understand that, but Charles Barkley has no NBA championships. He only went how many Championships did Kobe go to? Six? Seven? Something like that. I think he went to seven. I think he lost seven. two. Um, one to the Celtics and then... Pistons. Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's two. Or was it Pacers? Pistons. Okay, cool. Anyway. um, So, and then now look at the NBA now. It's There's full of Devin Bookers. There's full of DeMar DeRozans. There's full of... You can also look at the post, the, the big guys... Embiid. Oh, yeah. Embiid He's got threes. handles now? What the hell? Big guys have handles now? Jokic. Literally. Jokic. A, a, Jokic. Jokic. Whatever. Jokic. Jokic. Just say it with me. Yo Kic. Jokic. There you go. Jokic has <laughs> hand. He's literally a point center. Right. He runs the offense. A center running the offense. That would. It's if you gave a brick wall handles. But I don't think that was directly from Michael Jordan. No, I'm not saying that. Because Michael I'm Jordan saying... didn't really pass the ball yeah. all to all time great, you know? I think maybe Jokic did that through LeBron. Maybe LeBron, low oh, a big guy who can pass, you know. I mean, really well. You just see the change of the NBA game, how it was back then to it is now. And I think the last person to like, you know, be a big guy who does point guard stuff is LeBron. The last guy to show you that he's technically, I would say LeBron's like a power forward. Built like a power forward. Yeah. If that was anybody else with a different skill set, it'd be a power forward. Yeah. Yeah. But LeBron is like, all five positions can do it all. I mean, he him, him himself has said that Michael Jordan was his idol growing up. Yeah. He tried to... Bring some MJ to his game, but he has some own to his game. It, it's really a mix between Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan, if you think about it. Yeah. With a little, like, Zion Williamson there, because, I mean, he comes before Zion, but, like, dude's strong as fuck. They literally said Zion's going to be the next LeBron, which I don't see. He can't shoot or... Well, I kind of see it, because he ran point the other night. You saw that? When Lonzo was out, he ran point and had like thirty-seven, fifteen, and nine. It was ridiculous. It's just like you, you, he's never—he's not going to do it on the same level as LeBron night in and night out. We'll see. I mean, it's still early. His health is a big issue for me. He, yes, he has been hurt. Um, and he's got to stay healthy. Yeah. So yeah, that's and my LeBron point. has done that his entire career. This year was it? This year, like the for his first year on the Lakers was like the first time he actually missed time with an injury. And then this year is the first like time he's missed. He's well, the groin's bullshit. He didn't give a fuck. You think that he's season. he's just he had a bad team. He knew like the, yeah, the in the postseason he was getting Anthony Davis. Didn't really care. Yep. But this this year this year's kind of the, the, and it's not really because of his age. It's just it's a freak thing that happened that Solomon Hill. I mean, was it a dirty play? Who knows? I doubt it. It's he's just. I mean, who's diving after a ball like that? In a regular season game that doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah. Middle of the season. Like, what are you doing? Chill. Yeah. I would have been pissed if I was LeBron. But it's not really affecting. The Lakers know they're going into the playoffs with a healthy LeBron, healthy AD. Well, I don't know about AD. AD's kind of worrying me, honestly. Calf, Achilles injury, like, as a seven-footer. You look at KD, had the Achilles. Yeah, but. You look at Boogie Cousins, who tore his Achilles. I mean, KD's been in and out all year, but yeah. Kill his injury just scary. Leads us into our next question. We probably already know Seth's answer to this, but who is the athlete you idolized growing up? Mine's LeBron. I could, we can move on. Exactly. Mine was Des Bryant. 
Oh, yeah. Not because of his off the field, you know, altercations. Shenanigans. He went to my favorite college. I have a signed jersey by him somewhere. I met him personally. Great player. He, people called him like a nuisance to the Cowboys because he was always hyped up on the sideline, yelling at people. But like Tom Brady does the same thing and he gets praised for it. But when Des Bryant did it on the sidelines, they were like, this this guy's a clown. Why is he yelling at people? He, it it just shows how society today is just like soft. Even. Soft, weak. And this Pe- was like a while ago, though. This was like still early 2010s. And it's just like people get better when they, you know, get yelled at. People, it just shows. Tough love. Yeah, it shows like their love for the game. Like they want to win. They are trying to get better, you know, and that's just, I saw, I wanted to be like Des Bryant. And it's just, you know, ended up here doing a podcast. I don't think he's doing a podcast. He's still trying to get back to the NFL. Yeah. This is a, this is a, a question, great question to segue into this. If you could play one sport, what would it be? Baseball. Really? Yes. Why is that? Always loved baseball. I played baseball growing up. Great first baseman. I'm a lefty. I'm a lefty. <laughs> first so baseman like, doesn't do anything, bro. They I'm just catch lef- the ball. I'm a lefty. Perfect first baseman. I did a little pitching. Never was really that good. Didn't have a good, uh, you know, set of set of pitches, but set of balls, you know, set of balls. Set of- I could always hit as a big man. Big boys either strike out or they get hit. They get hits. I got hits. But I said, if you could play one sport, what what could it? Yeah, be? I could play baseball. No, like that you wanted to play baseball. Okay. Cool. Never was a fan of playing football. Loved watching it. Never was a fan because, like, as a lineman, you don't get a lot of praise for doing stuff. You just sit there, you right. eat, you protect the golden bar on the team. Basketball, not that great. I was, at my height, we're supposed to be point guards. In my high school, I was a center. Baseball players make the most money too, right? Exactly. <laughs> Baseball player, uh, what's his name? Francisco Lindor just signed a contract for like $340 million over 10 years. That's crazy. That's $34 million a year. Exactly. I mean, LeBron's not making that on his ba- in his basketball contract. Right, but he's almost a billionaire, though. From endorsements, he's got a shoe line. Not that great of a shoe he line. He owns the companies, bro. Also Blaze Pizza. Spa- he doesn't own Blaze. He's, he's a, a partial partner. owner. He's a partial owner. Yeah, like 25%. Who knows? Who cares? Good pizza place. He owns, he owns Blaze Pizza. Been there. Great pizza. Blaze Pizza sponsors the pod. Well, I mean, he, we the the thing about Blaze Pizza, we both have had interactions with Blaze Pizza on Twitter. Yes, Blaze um, Pizza follows me on Twitter. Doesn't follow Seth though. They just interact. With listen, me. listen. They had a thing on. Uh, na- say say who the goat is without saying who the goat is, and I was like partial owner of Blaze Pizza, and of course LeBron's a partial owner of Blaze Pizza, and then Blaze Pizza tweets out or sends me or you know ats me and goes. I actually forgot what they said, but shout out Blaze Pizza for you know adding me. Shout out Blaze, sponsor the pod. That'd be great if Free you sponsored pizza. us. Yeah, we actually work at a pizza place. We'll yes. quit that place if you want us to. We'll quit that and go we'll, work for you full time. We'll quit that full time. Um, my sport would be I played football before. I, I'm really good at basketball, but to play it professionally, I want to play quarterback. I want to play quarterback for. The Denver Broncos and be better than John Elway. That's what I would want to do. Horrible offensive line, though. Horrendous. That's why I got the feet, baby. I got quick feet. I'm I'm like Ben Roethlisberger on steroids, baby. You can't catch me, boy. Try to catch me. You can't. It's going to be hard to tackle you, too. You got like, bitch tree trunks me. for the legs. Except for Aaron Donald. He would fuck he, me up. He, he would fuck you up. He'd fuck Von me. Miller, too. Uh, he's older. Aaron Donald's in his prime. He's also trains with knives. <laughs> All right, next question. Last and final question for me. Best basketball shoe of all time. Best basketball shoe of all time. I played basketball with a lot of shoes in my day. But I'll let Seth go first. He's got to look up shoes. He's he's not a shoe guy. I am a shoe guy. Okay, yeah, LeBron 11s. Why, Why LeBron 11s? We'll put a picture up on the screen right now for you, and I'll show my boy Sam right now. 
Look how sexy those look, bro. I played I played in those. I have yeah. those. I had the, I have the those, graffitis. I had those too, yeah. Or not the graffitis, but I had the uh the, I just had regular red ones, bro. Mine? First shoe I ever bought that was over a hundred dollars. Really? They were like a they were like a hundred and eighty dollars. Oh yeah, they're they were now they're like three hundred bucks now. That's just like oh, this was the shoe I had. This was the shoe I had. This one right here. You had the red one. That was not look at look how nice that looks, bro. The all reds, red and blacks for the Miami Heat. Yeah, so that would be my favorite shoe of all time. Is it the best shoe of all time or best basketball shoe of all time? Probably not, but it's probably some Jordan thing. But I mean, I'm just a LeBron guy. I'm always going to be a LeBron guy. So I'm not going to lie. I, I have LeBron shoes as well for my my favorite basketball. No shoe of way. All time. Let Dead me see. ass. Is it the tens? LeBron twelves. I you have like those, those better? I play I play in those. Anytime I go to the gym, I wear those out. That's crazy. In the gym, LeBron twelves, perfect big man shoe. That's crazy. We had like perfect the same experience. Perfect big man shoe. The LeBron twelve it's the high tops. I also had a pair of Kobe's. Not great. They're Kobe's are more of a uh a point guard, shooting guard type shoe. But LeBron made really good center based shoes. Bro, I just love LeBron's Levens, bro. They made me fall in love with LeBron's. I've brought in two LeBron's after that, LeBron 15s and LeBron 18s. Favorite shoe still is LeBron 11s, the first ones I ever got. The, and then you got the one after that, LeBron 12. That's the, crazy. The only problem I had with the LeBron 11s was the plastic piece, like right on like the, the balls of your feet. Those really just, anytime I would walk, you hear that plastic piece hit the ground and it sounded like you had a piece of rock in your shoe. What are you going to do? It's opinion-based. Best athlete that, if they wouldn't have gotten injured, could possibly be the GOAT. Like, it, who is the most any likely? Sport, any sport. Any sport ever. Derek Rose had the potential to be one of the greatest basketball players of all time before his ACL injury. And the other ones. But. And other injuries. Brandon Roy. A deep cut for all you, you know non early days basketball watchers brandon roy had the potential to be really really good played on a team with greg odin another guy who was supposed to be the best center of all time before his injuries even though that man came out of college looking like he had been in the nba for about 25 years <laughs> yeah older looked my, old yeah as my fun. answer is brandon roy brandon roy so you just mentioned a bunch of basketball players I'm gonna mention the same. Ba- I'm gonna mention the same sport, basketball, but not Derrick Rose, not Brandon Roy, not Greg Odom, Tracy McGrady. Tracy. Tracy McGrady. He played with Kobe. He was Kobe's rival and friend. He didn't play. He didn't play with, he didn't him, play with but him, but he played like along like against in the, him in the yeah. same same era. era of basketball. Um, dude was. A literal bucket, dude. And he had, like, the wingspan and the athleticism. And him and Yao were a really good pair. Yeah, and him and Vince Carter on him the Raptors. Vince, people yeah. forget that, too. Like, he could have won multiple championships if he stayed healthy, they put pieces around him, and could have been the West representative. Because think about it. Kobe's team, other than Pau Gasol, who did he have? You know what I'm saying? Check. Well... I'm talking about like later on. Oh, 2010. Like yeah, Demar like if, 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 if Tracy Eric McGrady Fisher. was healthy. Yeah. If Tracy McGrady was healthy, like he would have had a long career. You put, tra- if you Tracy, put Tracy McGrady, Ma- Yao, and say a point guard like a Steve Nash. You, even, you, leave, you leave Tracy McGrady on the Raptors. You got Tracy, Vince Carter, Vince, and young Chris Bosch. Mm hmm. That's a team right there. Yeah, so that they could have won it all. They really could have. And him and Kobe in the finals, I would rather see that than the Boston Celtics and Kobe. I really would, because Tracy McGrady is better than any Boston Celtic, or in his prime was better than any Boston Celtic, maybe besides Kevin Garnett. I would put Tracy McGrady over Kevin Garnett. Really, like in his prime? Yes. Yeah, and, and I just think Kevin Garnett had a better career because he stayed healthy, and uh, you know Tracy McGrady's injury was really bad, and he never was the same after that. Never. So, Tracy McGrady is my answer. I mean, you, you look back at Kevin Garnett, not to bring it back, I don't think Kevin Garnett is, I would say he's a top three power forward of, of our generation. I would obviously put Timmy, Tim Duncan, Timmy D's, Tim Duncan, Dirk, Dirk, then KG. Mm. 
you could say LeBron over yeah, all those, but LeBron is forward. LeBron is everything. He's a small forward. Um, power forwards, power forwards. Akeem's up there. I'm not saying all time. I'm saying is he a center? Who? Is Akeem a center or a power forward? He's a power forward. Power right? forward center. Whatever yeah. they play, same thing. Amari Stoudemire in his prime, bro. There's a or lot son, up there. Yeah, but KG's top three, right? KG I'd top say three. so. I do. But a lot of people say that KG is better possible. than Dirk. Anything's possible. So yeah, that's that. That's my last question. Um, your last question. Beautiful stuff. You got anything else on your mind that you want to talk about? Hot takes of the day. Hot takes of the day. Maxi's horrible. Never buy it. That's my hot Moxie's take. Fuck Maxi. All my homies hate Maxi. Moxie. Maxie's a Maxi pad. Moxie, my bad. Hot take today, Steph Curry, MVP this year. I disagree. Are you going to say LeBron? No. I'm going to say it's either Jokic or Embiid. Probably Embiid. Have you seen the way Steph Curry has played? Have you seen the record? It doesn't matter how he's playing. It doesn't matter the record, though. It does. They're barely in the play-in right now. Okay, but like MVP's not MVP. T most valuable team, it's most valuable player. Well, the most valuable player should have a bigger impact on the court and the record, right? You can't be the tenth best player and have the MVP on your team. When Russell Westbrook first started averaging a double or a triple double, they were a playoff team though, with Paul George. Not with Paul George. Yes, that's no. when he won the MVP. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. Is either him or was it just him by himself? It was just him by itself. Because Were that, they a playoff team? No. Well, he averaged a triple-double, for God's sake. Okay, Steph Curry is Steph Curry doing this at 33 years old. 33 years old, averaging, what, 35 a game now? Putting up. He's still not leading the league in points per game, though. That's Bradley Beal. Okay, yeah, because Bradley Beal is Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal's only doing it by himself. He has Russell Westbrook. It's by himself. Russell Westbrook is uh, Russell Westbrook getting brings 10 down, straight triple doubles. Russell Westbrook brings down every player on the team. I wouldn't I wouldn't disagree, honestly. All right. We found some we found some common ground, but Steph Curry not MVP for me, sorry. That's fine. He was out agree, for too long. Agree to disagree. He was out for too long. Joel Embiid was out for less time and, and, and is putting up like Shaq numbers right now, bro. And he has a handle. They're number one in the or yeah, they're number one in the East. Um yeah, Jokic is up there too. He's leading every single category for his team: points, assists, rebounds, uh, blocks, uh, steals, every single assist, uh, every single stat you can think of. He's leading his team, so it's one of those guys. And it's mm-hmm. about time a big man won. About time. Think about it. That's fair. Past couple of years has been James Harden. I mean, Giannis is a big man, but he doesn't really he, play he's like, not one. like a, He's not a big man. Yeah. So yeah, nice hot take. Moxie's horrible. This has been Fuck snacking Moxie. sports. Snacks and snack and sports. This is the this is our first episode. I think it went pretty well. Eating you know? snacks, talking sports. Eat, eat taste and snacks. Taste and snacks. Talking sports. It's awesome. Spam. Uh, it's growing on me. I'm gonna actually change my upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade it to a five, bro. Rookie score still. Huh? Rookie score. Maybe a four point five. It's pretty good though. Like that's just by itself. That's nothing done to it. It's just a piece of spam. It's it's a block of just canned meat. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all next week. We'll, uh, yeah, see you next week. We're going to post every Tuesday. We're going to try to, you know, stay tuned. Next week, draft talk. Yeah, we're going to talk about the the NFL draft, mock drafts, everything draft. April 29th. Peace out, guys. Thanks for listening. And, uh, again, you can catch us on any platform, Apple Music, Spotify. And there's a video version, which we we, uh, really recommend you watch because of the food and stuff. Um... On YouTube, uh, on Snack and Sports. Thank you. If you if you want to give me a snack recommendation, hit me up on Twitter. It's Sturge underscore eighty eight. Oh, yeah, you got hella followers on there. Actually, yeah. Sturge underscore twenty three. Let me check that real quick. My Twitter is Seth Warren twelve. Yes, hit me up on Twitter, Sturge underscore twenty three. If you want to recommend a snack or a drink that we should try. Thank you. Thank you. Peace.